That afternoon, Jared came home from school and it wasn't long before a liar came into his room and stole his playing cards. Oh, no! What's happened here? There were my cards on the floor. I gotta pick them all up. Hello? Well, what happens when your sisters, they just throw your cards on the floor and they take your stuff? What, what does, what does Mummy and Daddy do about it? Nothing. Jared, quit doing that. I'm not. It's actually. And I just threw all my cards on the floor. Did you hear that Mom just said, Jared, quit that? And it was really... And it, and it was really mm. Ashlyn. Melora, she wasn't listening. And that's very disheartening because it shows Jared that his sisters can do exactly what they want to him and there's no consequences. Jared hardly said a word, and Melora sent him to his bedroom. I mean, this was so unfair. Hi. May I come in? You know when you speak to uh, Mummy and John, do they listen to you? Sometimes they're so busy, I, I try to talk to them, and they're just like, go, Jared, I have to take care of this from John. So what do you do then? You deal with it yourself? I think Jared, in a way, has kind of given up on voicing what he feels because he knows what the result will be, that every time he voices his opinion, it's his bedroom where he's going to end up. It's really important that you always tell Mummy what's going on in here, OK, and in here, and how you're feeling. Jared, he's a very smart boy who likes to talk and voice his opinion. Yet when he does, he's disciplined for it. You get so irate that you end up saying, go to your room, time out, you're instigating trouble. And yet all he was doing was voicing his opinion. For him to be able to stand up and be counted for in this family is for him to be able to have a voice and express himself. Why do you both not allow him to do that? That afternoon, Jared came home from school. Jared doesn't always get the chance to express to his parents how important his feelings are. And so I brought in a thought box for him. Any time he has a thought, whether it be happy or sad or an idea or something that he wants to share, that he write it on the paper and then fold it and put it into the box. And then every evening, Melora, I'd like you to sit down once the girls are in bed and say, hey, let's talk about what you've written down. Okay. What do you think of that, Jared? Good. I think that'd be a good idea mm -hmm. to do with Mum. You can tell Mum why you think it'd be a good idea. Because I can talk to you without having to interrupt the girls. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> 